This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Chat's over here. Uh, I just cracked myself up. I'm sorry. Um, hey, you know what time it is? It's time for the best moments of the Barbecue Central show in 10 minutes or less. And today's show is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop. Purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australian non crossbred bred R9 plus briskets that is always, every single time, hand-picked out just for you. The, bu- the Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for more than 15 years. Every week, they're shipping out competition quality meats to many of the biggest teams in the competition scene across the nation. Simply put, teams who use The Butcher Shop win and they win often. You may not be a competitor, but I know that you deserve the finer cuts in life. Hey, the butcher shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry age, Australian Wagyu, and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me, who aspire to be the kings and queens of the cul-de-sac. The butcher shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock. And again, it's always hand-picked just for you. So let's review. The best competition briskets, they got those. The best pork selection, they got that. Giving you a better overall option to cook at home, you know it's true. So you give the butcher shop a call today. 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. Be sure you mention the Barbecue Central Show. You're going to get 10% off your entire order each and every time you call. You can also check them out over on Facebook. Facebook.com slash The Butcher Shop. Shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E. And be sure to give them a follow. The Butcher Shop, home of the 100% Australian non-crossbred Wailara 9 Plus Briskets. And today we're going to jump into a first-time visit from author, restaurateur, marketeer, barbecue person all, all the way around. Let's go. Let's get caught up with Greg and Amy Mills. All right. Uh, as promised, uh, joining me now to talk a little about all things really related to the world of barbecue and grilling. Uh, she was a judge on the Best in Smoke TV show. She was also part, uh, well, she's not even also, but she is also part of the on consulting firm, a 17th Street Barbecue, Memphis Championship Barbecue Restaurants. You're damn right. It's first time guest to the show, and I'm honored to say that is Amy Mills. Amy, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm fabulous. Thank you, and you? Uh, I'm doing very well, Amy. Thanks for asking. Uh, I didn't know if you noticed, and I'm probably putting you on the spot here, but what do you think the percentage of chance that Mike Mills will be receiving the newest scent from Pork Barrel Barbecue called Q for Father's Day? Well, I really have no idea. He wears essence of pork every day. That's his (laughs) scent of choice. I'm not sure... um, if he's even seen that yet, he's been on the road all day heading to New York for the Big Apple Barbecue Block Party. Oh, that's uh, certainly a great event, uh, one that I actually didn't even prep for. But now that you've mentioned it, Amy, uh, for the people that aren't familiar with that, a lot of people think it's a competition or, you know, it's some type of a demo event. Your dad has been doing that for years. Obviously, you've been out there, too, because you take a lot of great pictures that you share via Twitter and Facebook. But for the people that aren't aware of it and haven't been out to it, tell us what the block party is all about and what one could expect if they were going to attend. Oh, absolutely. It's a fabulous event. The Block Party is really a celebration of regional American barbecue. It is not a competition. It's not something you can apply to be part of. Uh, People are chosen very specifically because of the type of barbecue they do or the region they represent. And one of the factors to this is that you have to really be able to produce 6,000-plus portions of barbecue over the two-day period, and uh, there are a lot of fabulous restaurants out there who don't really have the equipment or ability to travel and put that type of a show on. It's a fundraiser. We do not get any of the money from this. Each pit master sells one protein and one side dish, and all of the proceeds go to the Madison Square Park Conservancy. So it's uh, it's all for charity, and it's a, it's a fabulous fundraiser that's the brainchild of Danny Meyer, who is the head of Union Square Hospitality Group and Blue Smoke. Now, when you're picking the protein, you're picking the side dish, is it assigned to you, or are you allowed to pick which one you want to do? 
Well, we are one of the six founding pit masters. My dad is a partner in Blue Smoke, and he helped start the block party nine years ago. This is its ninth year. And people really, sometimes there's a hole that needs to be filled. Most people are cooking what they're famous for. So, you know, we do baby back ribs and baked beans. Those are two things that people look forward to. I know from our experience at other events, if we try to change up something, people will say, oh, I thought you were bringing the ribs. Right. So we're, just, we're doing what people want us to do. That's going to be a fabulous event, a Big Apple block party right down there in New York City. So if you have a chance to have occasion to get out there, I mean, you really got to go early because it's a, it's a jam-packed event, let's say. It is. It's actually, there'll be about 130, 140,000 people. Wow. It, is, it grows by leaps and bounds each year. And smart people come with a group and split up. Everybody stands in a different line, and then they meet in the park with all of the goods. There's also a fast pass program. It's kind of like going on the fast lane at Disney World. Right. And that means that you buy a pass with $100 worth of punches. It's $125 for the pass. And you can go on an inside lane around the park. And only a certain number of those are sold. So those have been sold out for a little while now. Sounds like a fabulous time. Got to get out there one time so I can uh, hang with all the barbecue uh, elite. And, of course, I got to uh, hand uh, hang glad with my man, John Marcus, uh, so, okay, before we get into all of this uh, tonight, Amy, that I've decided to lay out that you have no idea what we're talking about, uh, for the people that don't <laughs> know, there you go, uh, for the people that don't know, you know, Amy Mills, uh, how about a little background about yourself? And uh, I mean, this is going to seem like the lamest question in the whole world, but how you kind of get into the whole world of barbecue. Okay. Well, I'm the daughter of Mike Mills, who is who? somewhat known in the world of barbecue. And I have always... Um, you know, I grew up in barbecue. I moved away from home. I did other things, mostly marketing, PR, and advertising jobs. I lived in Dallas, and now I live in Boston most of the time. And I've always been a little bit involved in the business, but maybe for the past seven to ten years, you know, even more so. And it really started when I wrote the book, Peace, Love, and Barbecue. When I would go home, I would hear all of these stories, or I would travel to events with my dad, and I knew that those were stories that needed to be captured and written down. I think the thing that's really special about Peace, Love, and Barbecue is that people, these men talk differently to one another than they do to a reporter, and that has really been the charm and the appeal of that book. So I really, um, you know, just started working in the family business sort of part-time, and now it's about 20 hours a day. Yeah, wow. So uh, almost a jam-packed 24-hour wall-to-wall uh, barbecue world. Uh, Mike Mills, obviously, as you said, your dad, widely considered to be like one of the legends when it comes to our industry of barbecue and grilling. Uh, you know, when people list off the top people in barbecue, he's got to be at least, if not the first, one of the three mentioned out of the mouth by most folks. What's it like growing up with a father who was an icon in an industry? All right. Let's see if I can talk this out better than I talked it in. Hey, I invite you to go check out this complete episode over at the BBQCentralShow.com. While you're over there, there's a great search box. Find yourself a show you'd like to listen to. Search any subject barbecue and grilling related. Chances are it's going to have a return. You want me to do a show just for you? Send me an email. John, J-O-N, John at the BBQCentralShow.com. I will do something special for you, whatever you like. I'll try my best to accommodate. And until next time on the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less, I'm your host, John Solberg. I look forward to talking to you again soon.